the terminal. It is the most important program on your Linux system or BSD system or Mac system or even a Windows machine. It is the most important program on your Linux machine and it's the most powerful. When you go to get Linux support, if you go to a Linux support form or Linux IRC chat channel, uh, Linux support is almost always done via the terminal. You're asked to enter certain terminal commands in your terminal and then share the output of those commands with those that are trying to help you. The solutions to your problems are almost always given as terminal commands. Because of this, it is nice to have a couple of tools in your bag for sharing the output from your terminal. So today, I'm going to share with you a couple of programs that make sharing your terminal sessions a bit easier. Let's get started. So the first tool I want to share with you today is a really neat sort of paste bin kind of alternative. You guys are probably familiar with the website pastebin.com. It's been around forever. An extremely popular website where you can basically share plain text. So if you want to share something like a error log or a system log or output from a terminal command, you know, anything that's plain text, you go paste it over at pastebin.com and then all you need to do is share the URL from pastebin.com with somebody rather than trying to post like a thousand lines of an error log in an IRC chat channel or over on a web form or something. Uh, people in support channels tend to really hate when you paste very long uh, output from a terminal or very long uh, system logs and whatnot. No, they want you to go paste it somewhere like at pastebin.com and then just share the URL with them. Today I came across a really neat alternative to pastebin called termbin. So here in, I'm using the surf web browser today. This is termbin.com. Very similar to pastebin, you can paste plain text, but the difference is with termbin, you paste that plain text straight from your terminal. Uh, how, does, how does this work? Well, you need a program on your system called Netcat. Now, many of you probably already have Netcat on the system. If you want to see if you have Netcat already installed on your Linux machine, just type NC and hit enter. And if Netcat's already on the system, you'll see I got command line colon and then a prompt, so I already had Netcat. Uh, if you didn't already have Netcat, though, uh, I'm running Manjaro today, an Arch-based Linux system, so sudo pacman dash capital S netcat would be the command. And I'll go ahead and type my password, and you can see GNU dash netcat is actually the name of the program because in the Arch repos, there's two different netcats. There's the GNU netcat, which is the old netcat, the standard netcat. That's probably the one you want to install. Also, there is an OpenBSD netcat in the Arch repos. Anyway, I'm not gonna reinstall because I already have it. Those of you running Ubuntu or Debian-based systems, sudo apt install netcat. Now, once you have netcat installed, if I go back to the Surf web browser here, you can see there's some examples of how you do this. Basically, anything that outputs text in your terminal, so if you echo something, for example, or cat a file, or even run something like ls, or you know any shell command that outputs some kind of text in the terminal, then you need to pipe it through netcat into termbin.com, and we're sending it to termbin.com, that website, and then space, and then follow it up with four nines, nine, 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 nine. I don't know if that's a port number or, or exactly what's going on with that, but let's do this. So an example, let's cat something. So I'll cat my bash rc file, dot bash rc, and then give it the pipe symbol, nc for netcat, space termbin.com because that's where we're sending this and then space 9999 hit enter you gotta wait a few seconds because of course it's uploading it to termbin.com you know it's sending it over the internet but after a couple of seconds you see you get a URL let me copy that URL now if I wanted to I could actually go back to my graphical web browser which is surf but this works in Firefox or Chrome or whatever you're running and then just type in you know the uh, the URL termbin.com and in my case the unique URL I created for that was u4d2 and there you go that is my bash RC file we catted it and then we sent it to termbin.com now I actually if I go back here to termbin.com I didn't really need to go even to a graphical browser I'm already in the terminal right so all I really needed to do was well let me backspace here and 
I've got Lynx, the Lynx terminal web browser on the system. I just open it up in Lynx because, again, it's just plain text anyway. It's just plain text, whether you're in Firefox or Chrome. Yeah, since it's just plain text, just use a terminal web browser. And there you go. That's what it looks like in the Lynx web browser in the terminal. And Q to quit out of Lynx. Y for yes. Another quick example would be something like, I don't know, run the ls command. And then the pipe symbol, nc space term bin. Okay term bin dot com space nine 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 hit enter and again it's going to give us a unique URL to where it pastes this on term bin dot com I'm going to copy it and we'll go ahead and open this one again in links and that is the result of my ls command now that's not an error <laughs> that's what my ls command actually does look like because i'm not running the standard ls i'm actually my ls is an alias for a, a program called exa and it gives you some you know some funny you know colors and different kind of formatting and that's why my ls command <laughs> is kind of messed up when you view it in a web browser so just ignore the fact that there were some weird characters in that of course, you could even do something like echo. So, I mean, if I wanted to echo something like echo, you know, hello world, then pipe it into nc term bin. You're going to get tired of typing nc term bin dot com space 9999. I would create a bash alias or zsh alias, whatever shell you're using. Matter of fact, I may do that after I go ahead and check and make sure the echo did work. We'll probably just go ahead and create a bash alias and a zsh alias. I have both installed on the system. So let's open this in links. There you go. Hello world. Quit out of links. Now let me clear the screen. Let's go ahead and take care of a, an alias here. So if I wanted to, I could create this alias called tb for term bin. And tb stands for nc space term bin dot com space 9999. So I never have to type all of that every time I want to do this term bin. So uh, go ahead and send that to, oh, uh, I messed that up. Send that to the bash RC file. And then we're gonna run the same command, except this time also add that alias to the ZSH RC file. Restart ZSH. And let's see if that actually worked. Let's run a command. How about cat dot ZSH RC. Then we'll pipe it and then just TB this time instead of NC space term bin dot com space 9999. See if this works. And we wait a couple of seconds. And there we go. It looks like it worked just fine. Let's check it out in links and see if my ZSHRC is actually there. There it is. So we had uploaded it to termbin.com. Q for quit, Y for yes to get out of links. And for those of you that are wondering, yes, termbin does work not just on Linux, it does work on the Mac OS, which you would expect. The Mac OS, after all, is a Unix-like operating system, kind of like Linux. But it also works on Windows as well. I don't have a Windows or a Mac machine to test it out, but I'm sure it'll work just fine on those operating systems. All right, let me share the next program I want to discuss with you. The next program is a really neat terminal session recorder. It's called Askinema. Uh, yeah, that is one of the worst names ever for a free and open source program. It's ASCII with NEMA behind it, kind of like ASCII Cinema, but it's you're missing a syllable for it to be ASCII Cinema. It's ASCINEMA. ASCINEMA is a free and open source solution for terminal uh, session recording, and sh you can record your terminal sessions and share them on the web, or... You just replay them on your local machine if that's what you want to do. But anyway, Askinema, really neat program. Just a horrible name. <laughs> that name sucks. Anyway, like uh, term bin, you know, you need to install Askinema. So it's not already on your system. So if you're on uh, an Arch based system, you'd sudo pacman dash capital S. Askinema, if you can spell it correctly, I'm not sure if I can. I think I, yeah, I spelled it correctly, and it is in the Arch repos. I'm not going to reinstall. I'm not sure if you're going to find Askinema in the Debian or Ubuntu repos. Probably. If it's in the standard Arch repos, it's probably in the Debian repos. So, how does Askinema work? Well, let's see. Does it have a man page? Not sure. It does have a man page. 
So that's pretty cool. But you know what? It's the man page. I don't want to read all that information. Let's just see if a schema space dash dash help gives us a little information. Yeah, so I just want the basics of how it works. And you can see record, play, cat, upload. So what this does is it records a terminal session, meaning I type askinema space rec for record and hit enter and it starts recording this terminal session. Everything I type in the terminal from this point forward is basically recorded in a video of sorts. It's not really a video, not a video in the sense of something you play in VLC, but it records this terminal session for playback later. Let's do this. So I'm going to hit enter and it's recording my terminal session right now, including the few seconds here where I'm not doing anything. All of this is being recorded, but let's quickly do something since it's doing it's recording my terminal session. So I'm going to do a sudo pacman dash syu update the system. There's nothing to update. Uh, let's do a quick ls. Let's see what else can we do. Let's htop. Let's quit out of htop and then let's control D to quit the the terminal session recording. So that quits as schema and then you can see it gives you information here. Control C to save locally. So I can either press enter and have it upload to askinema.org where we can watch it on that website or I can save it locally and watch it right here. I'm going to save it locally. Control C. And it tells me where it saved it right here. Slash temp and then, you know, just some random characters here. It ends in the extension dot cast. So how do we play it back? Well, askinema and then the location of that dot cast file. Hit enter. Oh, we need to play as schema space play space location of that file. And nothing's happening. Oh my goodness, as schema is broke. No, it's not. Remember, I did nothing for several seconds after I, you can see now all of a sudden, it's replaying everything I typed in the terminal. All right, and then the next thing I did, I ran a ls, and then the next thing I did was I started htop, and then I quit htop, and then I stopped the recording. Let's do the same thing, basically, but this time let's upload it to askinema.org and actually watch the video on the web. So, by askinema space rec for record, we're recording our desktop set or our terminal session again. So I'm going to do an ls. How about let's cat my bash rc file. All right, let's vim my .zsh rc file. All right, let's quit out of vim. All right, and let's print working directory. And now let's askinema. No, not askinema. We just need control D to quit. Control D. All right, and now just press enter if you want to upload it to askinema.org or control C to save locally. I'm press enter this time to upload it to the website. And there you go. It gives us a URL where we can watch the recording. So let me go ahead and grab this URL here. All right, so let me pull up a graphical web browser here since this is video. Uh, watching it in links is definitely not going to work. So this time I'll open up Firefox instead of Surf. If I go to Firefox and let's paste that URL, which should take us to Askinema. Ah, but you have to log in. Say first time here, coming back. So we do have to actually sign up to use Askinema.org. I'm not signed up and I'm not going to sign up here on camera. Although if I wanted to, to share this with people on the web, I would go ahead and take the time to, to sign up. I'm sure it's worthwhile. So that is just a couple, again, of tools for your, your bag, <laughs> right? A couple of uh, basically ways to record what you're doing in the terminal, whether through term bin, which is just a paste bin alternative, or as schema, which is a terminal session recorder. Again, these are really neat if you want to share command line stuff with somebody for support reasons, whether you're giving support or for receiving support or for teaching purposes, I could see using something like Askinema to, you know, help people, you know, get things installed or configured, you know, show somebody how to properly install a LAMP stack on Ubuntu 1804. Just record the whole thing and Askinema, upload it to askinema.org and just give them the URL. So really neat tools. Before I go.
This show was made possible by Ansem, Carlos, Chris, Douglas, Dylan, Leo, Rob, Robert, and Tony. They are the producers of the show. They're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without them, you would not know about Term Men and Askinema. <laughs> <laughs> this show was also brought to you by all those fine ladies and gentlemen. You guys see all those names on the screen. They help support my work over on Patreon. If you'd like to support my work, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. Peace.